What's up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today is week number 6 as we are taking on the 0-4 Arkansas Razorbacks and this is a team between the winless versus the undefeated. The defeated versus the undefeated. This is probably last year this game. Oh my god. If you guys didn't see last year's game, uh, it was a big, big Probably the second biggest blowout in college football history. Uh, besides the Cumberland Georgia Tech game back in the 1910s, where the final score was 222 to nothing. But that was, that was, we're not going to be able to get that far. We're not going to be able to beat Arkansas 223 to nothing. Just, we're not going to beat that record ever. But if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. So, Arkansas, like, they've had a bad streak in the SEC. They haven't been doing very well over the past few years. Um, so, to see this is not really all that surprising to no one for a record. Um, but, we are taking leads on players, and this is awesome to see. Uh, we're losing ground here on Spencer Lane. Like I said, not a big deal if we don't get him. But, we can always, like, put some more points on him when we get other recruits we got other quarterbacks anyway so i'm not necessarily too concerned um especially since we're like super close to getting some of these guys anyway michigan just took the lead on him uh that's not good but we we need a, we need a tight ends though we're losing a couple tight ends um other than that though we got to commit well that's a that was an insta commit um eric fox trey scott we got a few leads on these guys here it looks like we're going to be doing ourselves a good favor here uh next week is gonna be a big week for us we're gonna probably get some recruits to come in and we will focus on other recruits as well so um top 25 that's obviously important um as you saw my old dynasty arkansas state's in there um uab is still number one uh usc two uh texas three notre dame at number four oklahoma five uh penn state six virginia tech seven navy eight virginia nine uh, so we got Virginia and Virginia Tech and both in the same top uh, in the same like poll top 10 but that's like how often I don't know if you, any of you guys are Virginia fans or from Virginia but to see Virginia and Virginia Tech in the top 10 is like a rarity um Ohio State uh Penn, Tennessee 10 um Ohio State 11 Mississippi State 12 they just lost to LSU uh, I don't know how you lose to LSU. Um, well, their defense is good, but their offense is just anemic. Uh, Stanford 13, Iowa 14, uh, LSU 15, Michigan 16, Alabama 17, uh, Oregon 18, BYU 19, Auburn 20, Georgia Tech 21, um, Florida 22, Arkansas State 23, San Diego State 24, and Clemson 25. Other receiving votes go to... Uh, Utah, Washington, Northern Illinois, uh, Florida State, Ole Miss, Pittsburgh, Minnesota, Central Michigan, and Wisconsin. And Ole Miss dropped out of the top 25. Uh, I thought they were having a pretty good season. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, did they like lose to somebody like bad or something like that? I don't know. Uh, but AM plays only three games, but they've only won by a combined total of seven points. I want to see how this is happening. They are winning games literally by three points. Three points and one point. They are going to get their butts kicked if they face us. Period. I would not be surprised to say the least if they escaped against Oregon State. Uh, or get their butts kicked in these next three games afterward and then lose to us in Alabama. So there's five losses automatically. I wouldn't be surprised if they lost to Mississippi either. But this team looks like a total pretender. Um, Al uh, you know us. You know, you've watched us play. Uh... Alabama's 4-0. They've won their games pretty convincingly. Well, not necessarily Florida, but that's still a good win within itself. Beating Rice by only 12 isn't really all that good for them. Uh, but they did beat Mississippi, which Mississippi is a solid squad. I'll give them that. Um, but after that, they play us next. We play uh, Alabama next week, so that's going to be a tough game for us, obviously. Alabama's always been pretty good. Uh, but they could see, I could see them actually making a bowl game this year. They haven't made a bowl game in the past two years, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, LSU, uh, they're still doing pretty good for themselves. Mississippi State, three and one. Ole Miss, they lost to Alabama by just only four points. Though it was on the road too, 
So to only lose by four points on the road isn't necessarily like a, it's a loss, but it's not a bad loss. Auburn three and one, Arkansas zero and four. Everybody's uh, like three and one or better, except for Arkansas. In the SEC East, everybody's like two and two, two and two, one and two, one and four. Oh my god! I, uh, what? They dropped thirty-eight points on Georgia. You gotta be kidding me! They finally got their offense together. They lost to Bowling Green, and then they beat Georgia. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, the SEC East is a total mess right now. Tennessee, Florida, South South Carolina, and South Alabama, and Georgia. Oh my God, this is a mess. Look at this. This is a mess. This is a this is atrocious. Oh, who we play in the SEC championship? If we even get to the SEC championship, who knows who we're gonna play? Um. Wow, we just lost both our Heisman candidates in a matter of having a bye week. Ben Stover, Tyler Fagan, Keith Riley, Way Wilson, and Eddie Williams. We don't even have a Heisman candidate. We had two of them like last week. Both of them gone. That's 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 awesome. Anyway, we're gonna go on and face Arkansas today. Should be a pff, god. If you if you are watching this with children, I would recommend not watching this with children. Until then, I will see you guys on the field. And, the fans are and we are underway here in Birmingham as Vashawn Chase. Really who got a, who returned a kickoff for a touchdown last week? Let's see what he can do right now. Oh, oh God, no blocking. We had two guys literally go after one. No, that's not how this goes. All right, offense, let's go like right now. And I already see an opening in this play. Oh yeah. Ben Smith, big play already. Gain of 26. We're gonna like destroy their lives. That's the whole goal today is to destroy Arkansas. There we go, another big game. 21 yards. I'm telling you, this is just, yeah. Oh, Kenny Wright, big play again. Oh my god, this offense is going to have a field day. We're going to have a field day against this, uh, this defense. It's bad. Ben Smith, touchdown. Nope, not quite. Okay, that's fine with me. Another 19-yard gain, though. First down. If we can get the blocks at six, then we're going to anyway, because this defense is just bad. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Blazer. That was quick. That's what you call quickness. They come out onto the field. Alright, first play of the game, defense. Let's go. Oh, it's intercepted! <laughs> Literally first defensive play of the game is picked off. <laughs> oh man, no! God, I just scored, and now I have the ball again. Oh God! Oh Ben Smith! <laughs> first and goal at the like four yard line. Oh, there you go, Aaron Hardy, touchdown. Two minutes, two touchdowns. This offense is a disaster. Oh, no. It's intercepted again. It's the safety. What is this? No, oh, come on, seriously. Right is already four for four. Aaron Hardy's already got two scores. Like, this is a blowout in the making. William Clark inside the 10, another first down and goal. This is that bad. Oh, that, wow. Okay, then. I got caught off guard. The... This is just anemic. This is terrible. Screen pass? I highly think so here. They don't have their big dude running back number 38 anymore. I forget his name, but he was he was actually really good for that team. And it, oh my god, they just cannot get anything going. This is sad and pathetic. Someone involved more in the fourth quarter. Oh Jesus. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. You know what you're up to. He's scrambling. There we go. Out of bounds. At about the 29 yard. Have a single first down. 
Not really all that surprised though. Frank Clement, oh beautiful. I haven't given him the ball too much. It sucks. They, he's a really good receiver. All right, Wesley, let's see what you got, buddy. Oh, beautiful play. Oh, can he get the touchdown? Oh, my God. 15-yard reception, first down and goal. At the one, we're first and goal. Can Aaron Hardy get touchdown number three in the first quarter? Yes, he can. Three touchdowns in the first quarter. Three. I'll take it. He has no confidence in himself. Screen pass here on third down. I wouldn't be surprised. They don't even have a real tight end. He's on the run. No. Oh my God. You got to be kidding me. That is. That's literally how you're gonna get your first only first down. Put it in the triple coverage every time. I can't help you there, son. I can't. Fourth down. That's your first completed pass of the game. Tough to get traction or even maintain your grip on the ball. That could have turned out even worse than it did. Oh, let's go. Keep going. Frank Clement down the sideline. Let's go. Big play. This is fine. The interception I'm not worried about anymore. Oh, nice catch, Frank. Another first. If you're gonna put the ball into that kind of coverage, four catches, 67 yards. Oh, up the middle, first down, more. Oh my Jesus. See, it doesn't matter where our starting position's at. We're just gonna score anyway. Touchdown. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Goes with a five wide outlook. With room to work. Ooh. Okay, they get a first down. Should have been, but it wasn't. He rifles it. Intercepted again. He's throwing it into bad coverages every time. Three for ten. He will, he will. He will beat you in some speed. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he is gone. Inside the 30. Or not, but he still a big 65-yard gain. Right there, first down. Nice grab. Hey, you only need one in college, but that's good footwork. Uh, can he get it? Oh, he's got four touchdowns. This is amazing. Four touchdowns for Aaron Hardy. Screen pass? Can I see a screen pass, Alex? Hey, that's fine, too. You know what? I'll take that. I don't know how he's still in the game, for one. Most quarterbacks will get benched for that kind of behavior. And the only thing he's done effectively is run the ball. Abort mission! We have to abort mission! <laughs> he knew that I sniffed it out like immediately. Oh, he did it anyway! He did it again! Why? Why are you shooting yourself like this? Oh, no! <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, I sniffed that out pretty quickly, too. As soon as I saw the offensive lineman just just give up for the jailbreak, for the screen, I was like, nope. We better watch ourselves here. UAB is winning big. Oh, but Aaron Hardy's just like, no, I'm going to change that real quick. First down. Nine carries, 56 yards. Four touchdowns. Oh, Kenny Wright, he's off to the races. Oh, man. 30 yards, first down. Let's go, man. Jacob Ingram with it. Oh, he, he tried to go for the stiff arm, and he just got leveled. 
16 for 237 and an interception. He could do better. and He could probably get a touchdown pass to boot up his stats a little. Now he tries to buy some time. And he has but you know what? With his running ability... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh! Kenny, this is why you're not in the Heisman oh run anymore. Oh, my God. That had interception written all over it. Oh, he's wide open. Complete. He's got room. He gets Who's ever man that was? You just failed. Like, miserably. More than dog turd. He's not He's not being covered. Matt Gary is in not a row. Second down, Please run a screen pass. You deserve it. Intercepted. That's intercepted. Are you kidding me? I got ripped off. All right, right. I see you. I need, uh, screen pass is coming. Nope. Oh, that, oh, that, both of them from 57. And he misses this one. He, he had a chance to make both of them. Oh, Jesus. Jacob Ingram. I thought he didn't come up with that for a second. Woo. That was close. Take it outside. Take it outside. Uh. Three <laughs> yards rushing. It's first and ten. Ball on the twenty-three. Catch me outside. How about that? Oh, that's a touchdown. They get in. Touchdown. And for Clements. Team is absolutely getting away with murder. Two plays. Should have been picked. Fourth down. Good God. Six yards to carry. Just follow the leader. Follow the leader, the leader, the leader. Seven yard gain. And a first down, please. That could be and Hardy, or actually a three three punch thing system. You know, McAfee is a solid running back. And that puts Aaron Hardy over 100 yards rushing as well. William Clark, baby! Stay on your feet, big fella! There you go. First down. First down now. Like, seriously. He hasn't had a touchdown pass in a couple weeks. We need to get him a touchdown pass. And it's Joe Ingram touchdown UAB. Finally. Fourth and 18. Instead of taking points to avoid getting shut out, you're going to go for it. Okay. And you get sacked for it. Okay. That's what you get. That is honestly what you get. Just kick the field goal. Get some points. for Get your stats. Kick her some stats. All right, guys. Well, not only did we get a big win, but we just got our second shutout of the season. Um, final score, 52 to nothing. Uh, wasn't quite the... Uh, excuse me. It wasn't quite the blowout that uh, we had last year against Arkansas, but a shutout to shutout and 52 to nothing is the the likely score of getting a shutout for me for this series. Uh, so it moves us up to five and zero. Next week we take on Alabama. In uh, I think Alabama is now finally ranked again. So this could be a this could be a big game for us. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. Until then, my name is Tim with Vengeance. Peace out.